Hello friends. Financial ratios are important parameters which helps investors to decide on their investment. Every ratios are important in their own manner for different kind of financial analysis. Thus, a financial ratio is a representation of selected numerical values from a company's financial statements. Financial ratios help in decoding the financial valuation and financial strength of the company. Now there are a lot of ratios such as PE ratio, net profit margin, interest coverage ratio etc used for valuation analysis of any company. We will today discuss about the impact of asset turnover ratio on any stock. Now, what is asset turnover ratio? It measures a company's ability to generate sales from its assets by comparing net sales with total assets. This tests about how efficiently a company is utilizing its assets to generate sales. That means how many times an asset is churned to make sales happen. Higher the value of the asset turnover ratio, better is the performance of the company. This ratio should be used to compare different companies in the same sector. Comparing the asset turnover ratio of one auto company with another cement company will not make much sense because requirements, assets and government policies are different for different sectors. Like the IT companies have less of asset compared to real estate companies. Now exceptions are always there. Historical data may not always be a foolproof way towards future perception as the industrial and economic conditions may vary every year. Moreover, some companies are asset light whereas some companies are asset heavy. So it might seem redundant to use these ratios at all times for every sector. Thus, the formula would be asset turnover is equal to sales divided by average of total assets. Thus, under relative valuation today, we will take three companies in the same sector to understand which company's asset turnover ratio is the highest with the help of the stockage app. So, we will take Tata Steel, JSW Steel and Jindal Steel all in the metal sector. So, let us check out in the stockage app which all are the companies which have a higher asset turnover ratio. Let us check in the stockage app. So, when we check on Tata Steel and go to the fundamental section under the ratios, under the efficiency ratios, we get the asset turnover ratio. So, that is total sales divided by your total average assets. So that for Tata Steel is 0.70. Next, we move on to JSW Steel. When we check on the fundamental under the ratios, under the efficiency ratios, that what is the asset turnover ratio of the company, we see that it is very high at 0.70. Seven, nine. Similarly, when we check on the Jindal Steel, what do we find is that the asset turnover ratio of this company is under the efficiency ratios, it is 0 0.36. So what we find here is that JSW Steel is one company whose asset turnover ratio that is number of times you churn the asset to create your sales is much better. That means asset utilization of JSW Steel is the best among all these three companies. So that can uh, help us take our uh, investment decision but this is just one criteria. So we have to analyze many more criteria and if all those criteria fulfill our scenario then what we can do is we can invest into that company. So hope you have liked our video. If you want to know more about this asset turnover ratio, you can log on to blog.stockage.com and know in detail 
about all the other metrics of the asset turnover ratio. So if you have liked the video, please like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you want to know more about any other thing, then please feel free to write back to us. Do press the bell icon so that whenever we prepare any re uh, uh, video, you are the first one to see it. Thank you.